Now, unapproved buildings in urban centers will not be demolished if they meet the set standards of structural integrity and owners regularize them. Chief Architect in the State of Department Public Works, Lawrence Mochama, says that the government will begin regularizing buildings and infrastructure attaining certain levels of compliance, uh, which will be given guidelines of improvement as opposed to demolishing them. In Nairobi County, about 250,000 residential units are constructed annually to meet growing demands for housing. Those in the construction sector say demand for real estate in urban centers is only increasing, despite the rising cost of living. Within the last one year, construction costs more than doubled from 2.7% to 6.11%, ultimately increasing the average cost per square meter by about 43,000 shillings. Because this is a huge, a huge program that requires many of us to be in there for us to support government in realizing what, uh, what it needs to do. They say a policy review is needed to ensure buildings that do not reach compliance levels are guided on how to improve, as long as they have structural integrity. Must also be arrived to the fact that we cannot bring all those buildings down. Something we must have some something in between. Not every building that uh, will be audited that will be qualified for approval. There will be some which will be recommended for removal. There will be others which will be asked to do some modifications and adjustments in order for them to be accepted as a habitable human areas. In addition, an urban planning technical committee has been set up for Nairobi County to audit non-approved buildings. And that's why the Nairobi City County government and the national government have joined hands to set a team that will go around check the building integrity in a building that it's not it doesn't mean that if a building is not approved it's definitely condemned in a building that means the structural integrity will have to be regularized partnerships between the industry um, and the county government and of course with those two players on the table uh, more than happy to support it at the assembly to ensure these discussions translate into legislative uh, policies that are then implemented by the executive this goes in the greater scheme of ensuring the city structure is at par with international capital city standards because these are also standards that are looked at globally by the world bank in terms of ease of doing business they are, however, urging contractors to seek professional guidance at all stages of construction as the root solution for stemming cases of buildings collapsing. People are not building and buildings collapsing out of uh, any professional neg negligence. It's a lack of professional input. How does that happen? Someone comes in, they have words of cash, they want to build, and they decide the shortest way is better. It's a human thing. You always look to do things easier, but shortcuts always cost you more. Hibak Said for Prime Edition.